Hello and welcome again. I'm Kukwana Elta. I hope everyone is fine and safe at home. Ageism and age discrimination is something that is not well recognized in our society. But with more and more older people as the population ages, it is an important subject to talk about. For older people, their bodies may have aged, but their mind remains young, even younger with different people. That's when people say age is just a number. No older people like to be treated as old or called old. It leaves them depressed with the feeling of being a second class citizen. This age discrimination is rife. We see people experiencing and exposed to age prejudice every day. In our everyday relations, at work, and in our leisure time. People are told they cannot socialize because they are old. No social media is for young people. No Valentine's Day is for young people. They cannot dress like this and this is for young. They cannot do one, two, three. Oh, the list is endless. They can only be told to stay at home and look after the grandchildren because they are retired. Oh, no. When you think of older people, think that they are people rather than older people. Address them the way they would love to be addressed. Ask them. Others would want to be addressed by their status in the society. They would love to be called Mr. Mrs. Doctor. Oh, myself, for example, I would love to be addressed as Kukwana Elder because I am a grandmother. People have got different reasons to be want to be called something. Because you might call someone of my age Kokwana only to find that you are offending them or you are depressing them because they've never had children that they wanted to have naturally. So now here you are, you call them grandmother, grandmommy or auntie mother, you know. So it's best address them the way they would love to be addressed. You know, these people are capable. They can do anything at their own power at their own time because their retire is their freedom to do things that they are capable to do. They are capable. What do you take of the 80 year old who started climbing mountains, the whole world, the tallest mountains at the age of 80? And at 88, he is still doing it. He is still going. Hmm? They are capable. Who said they cannot occupy top jobs as long as their minds can? Look at our powerful president of the world. At 78, he is still driving the world crazy. How old is your president? So, these people just want us to respect them, recognize them for who they are and their statuses they hold in this society. They want us to engage them. We should give them their independence that they deserve. And of course, not to judge them. So my appeal to the society is this. Let's avoid this generational divide an older person is a person let's treat everyone same equal and with respect remember you may be young now one day you'll be blessed and be old so changing your attitude about age at the moment will benefit you in due course so if you like this talk Subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.